So once you finish with your application or website using Adobe Flash Catalyst, it's time to publish it. Flash Catalyst makes it really easy to publish your projects in a variety of formats. In Flash Catalyst, I can then publish my project to Swift or Air. When you, when you click this option, you'll see the Publish to Swift dialog appear. Here I can define where I want to actually publish my project. I can select any folder on my, on my op, on, in my operating system. I also have a few publish options here. I can bill for accessibility, which will then take advantage of accessibility options that are part of Flash Player. And I can build a few different versions here. If I want to create a version that's going to be going up to a web server, I would check that here. If I have one that I want to use offline or in a browser, I can also use an Air application as, a, as an export format, which will then allow you to install this as an Air app using, uh, the, using the Air runtime for either Windows, Mac OS, or for Linux. I also have the option to embed fonts inside of my project if I wish to do that. And I can also select which fonts I want to embed in the project. When you click Publish, it will then publish the application and then tell you when everything is finished. When it's actually doing this, behind the scenes, Flash Callus is actually building everything using the Adobe Flex framework. So using Flex, it's building out these Swifts and Air, and Air applications for you to deploy onto your website. Once you've finished, you can actually then deploy your project up to a web server using products like Dreamweaver, or you can run them locally if you're using the local version or as an Air application. So publishing your project is really easy using Flash Catalyst.